Good Samaritan uses dying breaths to save school bus full of children. Jonathan Grayer is a 25-year-old man who marked news outlets with his heroic stance. The young man was driving a rider rental truck through Alma, Georgia when he made a fatal mistake on the road that would later cost him his life. Without any warning, he crashed his car into the back of a Bacon County school bus as it was unloading elementary school children. The crash was so strong it completely destroyed the cab of his truck and crushed the back of the bus. The impact sent the back of the box truck into the air, leaving metal scattered across the highway, Shane Copeland with the Georgia State Patrol said. Jonathan had some severe injuries from the horrific car crash. He wasn't the only one damaged from the collision. The impact also obliterated the entire front end of his truck. However, instead of waiting calmly for first responders and medical help to save his life, Jonathan chose to spend his last few minutes making sure that everyone else in the surrounding was out of danger. According to Georgia State Police reports, there were more than a dozen students on the bus, several of whom were sitting in the back when the collision happened. Without a single hesitation, Jonathan pulled himself from his own wreckage and ran to help the injured children, including those who couldn't make it out of the bus as they were trapped by the crushed seats. Despite his serious injuries and the blood he was losing, Jonathan was determined to get everyone from the bus to safety, even if that cost his last breaths. The investigators later told Jonathan's parents, Veronica and Isaiah Grayer, that their son was able to free students from the crashed seats they were trapped in and carried them all to safety. He even summoned superhuman strength to rest and piece up a bench seat in order to get to a trapped child that was hurting and crying. They said that for some reason or another, he just ripped the whole seat out the bus with the child and I was like, wow. Veronica Grayer told News for Jax. Despite the horrifying situation he was in, Jonathan was able to use his own charms to calm the terrified children. According to one of the children he rescued, the hero told them not to worry because they were going to get treats and toys once it was all over. Sadly enough, Jonathan was unfortunately not able to keep his promise as life wouldn't allow it. He told the little child that they were going to get ice cream, and the parents said the little kid asked, where is the man that took me off the bus? Because we were supposed to get ice cream, Veronica Grayer said. As soon as Jonathan rescued the last of the terrified children from the crashed bus, his strengths just faded and every bit of energy he summoned for the rescue vanished. The exhausted hero lay down, hurting from his injuries and weakened from all the efforts he made while he was bleeding. Jonathan lay there waiting for the paramedics to arrive and save what was left of him. When the ambulance was finally there, he was rushed to the hospital and taken to the ER. It was all too late, as the hero passed away only from his injuries. Jonathan's act of selflessness and heroism left everyone in awe. Even though he knew he was dying, he kept on fighting until the very end and made sure he could accomplish his goal and put every child to safety. Thanks to his miraculous strength, all of the children were going to be okay, even if he was not. After it happened, he collapsed and he was just done like God saying, Okay, you did what I wanted you to do, said Isaiah Grayer. He must have been running on adrenaline and his body gave out, said Shane Copeland with the Georgia State Patrol. He was pretty much done by that point. Twelve of the children rescued from the crashed bus were taken to the hospital for medical treatment. Luckily, they weren't suffering from any serious injuries. They were treated for their non-life-threatening injuries and were soon discharged from the hospital, back to their parents' homes. Jonathan's family, still greeting their son gone in the blink of an eye, offered their warmest prayers in hopes that the children would recover quickly from both their physical and emotional wounds. I also want to thank the Good Samaritan that stopped and sat there with my son until the paramedics got there. I want to thank him, said Veronica Grayer. The only thing Jonathan's family wants is for their son to be remembered for his love for life and willingness to go above and beyond when it came to helping others in times of need, even if that meant giving his last breaths away. My son, he had a big heart. He was, like I said, my gentle giant. He would do anything in the world for you if you had it, said Veronica Grayer. He had this laugh about himself. Jonathan Grayer, like any sensible person who had a violent car crash, could have stayed in his vehicle, waiting for the medical team to get there and give him the emergency medical attention that could have saved his life. Jonathan may have even had a chance of surviving his injuries had he done so, as he would have saved a lot of energy and blood, 
and his body would still be able to recover from his injuries. However, his love for others simply wouldn't allow him to put himself first when he knew that his help was needed. Even though Jonathan Greyer likely knew that his injuries could be lethal, he didn't let that get in the way of helping save the children trapped in the bus. He didn't allow even his deadly injuries to keep him from pursuing the greatest good, even if that meant that the price he had to pay was his own life. Caring more for the children's lives than his own, Jonathan bravely used his last breaths to ensure that the scared children were all safe and sound. Jonathan's actions are something out of a fiction story. We do not think that any of us would have done the same had we been in his shoes. We hope that his heartwarming story receives the attention it deserves, allowing his memory to live on in the minds of the readers. 